I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand combination of functions. We have, we are actually working with a very simple example. We have taken two functions f of x equals to x minus 1 and g of x equals to minus x square plus 1. In the previous video we saw how to add them, right? So that was the combination we discussed. In this particular video we will find difference. Let's say d of x is difference of the two functions, right? So we'll do f of x minus g of x, right? Last time in the previous video, we made a table of values for both the functions, added them up to find the sum. Here, we are going to find the difference, right? I'm going to find the difference using the functions themselves, right? Now, here what we have is f of x is x minus 1 and g of x is x squared with negative sign plus 1. So, we can substitute these values here. So, we get x minus 1 for f of x minus of g of x is minus x squared plus 1, correct? Now we can open these brackets and simplify. We x minus 1 minus minus becomes plus minus 1. Let's rearrange them. We get x squared plus x minus 2. Now this can be factored. So I can write this as x minus 2 is the product right and the sum is plus 1 so it will be plus 2 minus 1 correct so that is what you get as the difference of these two functions right now so you can actually sketch this function d of difference of these two functions it's a parabola with x intercepts at minus 2 and at plus 1 correct now in this particular video what I have done is I'm not repeating uh, how we sketched f of x and g of x you know f of x is a straight line so that is that is a straight line f of x correct what slope of 1 and y intercept of minus 1 so that is my y intercept of minus 1 and slope of 1 1 unit up you get the line correct here we have g of x which is minus x square plus 1 right so in g of x what we did was our maximum is at 1 opens downward steps are one three five seven so you can do one step and then three steps one two and three correct so so we get from here so we get one step and then we get this is the first step and then next time we get three steps one two and three correct so we get this three steps so one three five seven gives us the parabola here right difference really means we have to superimpose the values for same x value we can just add them up right difference means take difference of the two values right now if my value at 0 is for it is f of x minus g of x so f of x is minus 1 minus 1 then you take away minus 1 from it so you get minus 2 that is how you get your value do you get the point right so at minus 1 we are taking away from minus 2 0 so we get minus 2 so that gives you the parabola which is shown here as f of x minus g of x clearly you can check that we have two zeros right so these are your zeros corresponding to minus 2 and 1 right so the graph really matches now as an exercise what you should be doing is you should plot this graph right that is kind of your answer okay so I hope you understand the concept how to find combination of functions when it is addition or subtraction so when it is addition or subtraction you can simply add the y values for corresponding x values so the idea here is to add y values for corresponding x values correct x values so we call this as superimpose or superposition so that is the principle which is being applied whenever we are dealing with combinations such as addition or subtraction in the following videos we'll understand what happens when you multiply and divide so we'll take the same functions and do multiplication and division operations and then plot their graphs i hope that will give you a good foundation on understanding combination of functions thank you and all the best